today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this beautiful Thursday, guys. It is time to go down to the Bravo Street because there is a lot of tea coming. Later today, we're going to be talking about New Jersey. I am doing my official review later, so stay tuned for that. And I mean, I already gave you a big surprise this morning, right? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, bitch, go to my page after you finish this video and watch, uh, I did a, an interview with the one and only Marisol Patton from The Real Housewife of Miami and it was good, okay? She spilled a lot of tea and we have a lot of fun. So make sure to uh, check that out. All right, guys, so it is time to talk about The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. So let's talk about this mess because Lisa Rena, I mean, it's kind of like, of course, she's not gonna let it go for a while. I mean, she's gonna try to like milk this thing as much as she can. And she's gonna try to do all kinds of interviews related her time uh, to The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. And now she went on an interview with E! News. And of course, they have to talk about what she's doing now. Uh, they talk about Kathy Hilton, the whole thing. And girl, at the end, it took kind of like an, an unexpected turn uh that we need to talk so the thing is that lisa rena she keeps saying that she was just doing her job that she is the most trustful person in the world that she cannot see injustice happening because she has to say something you know and she i mean she's not gonna change the narrative she is not apologetic at all she's uh basically honestly kind of like the same thing that we are going to be that we hear for her over and over and over, you know? Um, one thing that she does said is that she's gonna be missing the production, she's gonna be missing working with the ladies, that she act, they actually had a lot of fun, that she's gonna be missing, um, like, just being a housewife in general, and girl, I mean, of course. Like, I feel that once you become a housewife, like, the whole a whole world of opportunities open up to you you know like being a housewife it from all the reality tv that there is out there it's kind of like the biggest things you know uh i mean you have like competition shows which are pretty big and you have like the uh rupaul drag race which has a, a huge fandom you know but like being a housewife it kind of like opened yourself to like create businesses to be successful like look at what bethany frankel did with housewife i mean we literally saw her from like selling cupcakes at a uh, supermarket to be, have a multi-million dollar empire and we have seen multiple housewife really do great jobs so this is something that if they don't take advantage of it i think they're being very dumb and i think for example in the case of lisa rena I think she tried to take advantage, but she never did it because she was so worried about creating like this dark drama that will end up taking her out anyways. Like, yes, she tried to do the the the, the drink, the rosé or whatever she did or and, uh, you know, the line makeup, but she never really took advantage of being part of this show. You know what I mean? Because many housewives think like, oh, I'm a housewife. I can just produce this napkin and automatically I'm going to be like a millionaire. And it doesn't work like that. You know, like you have to like keep pushing and pushing and pushing and promoting and promoting and promoting. And do not, I, I feel that they don't have to they have to not change the product and just like keep you still like again bethany frankel did it with uh, skinny girl margarita it was like there all the time she was skinny girl margarita and we knew her for that but when you start like jumping from one you know company to another from one product to another you first you do this then you do that Look at Sonia Morgan. She also has never been able to really do anything. Look at Wendy Osefo from Potomac. She has never uh, been able to really do anything. And I think Lisa Rena is the same thing, you know? She she tried to do things here, things there, you know? It never really took her... Mm, uh, I mean, she never really did it, 
right? I mean, and then she, I feel like the whole makeup and, and, and the wine or rosé or whatever thing, it just came a little bit too late. And I think she also thought that she was going to be a part of the show like forever and that she could be able to do that. And I, now I'm thinking that Lisa is like, shit, what I'm going to do now? You know, like she definitely need those Bravo coins because let's be honest, Harry Hamlin, she is, he is an actor, but he's not like a full on working actor. Not that he's bad. Look, I even saw the last movie uh, that he did with Jane Fonda. He had a little part in there and uh, the Tardy, no, 84, 84 Brady, which actually is a good movie. I recommend it. He's good on it. You know I mean? He is an actor. And he is, he is good, you know, but he's not like, he's not working for Marvel. You know what I mean? I mean, he's not getting Oscars nominations, you know? So like, girl. And Lisa Rena, I mean, I know that she wants to pretend that she's an actress, but like, girl, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, um, so she was talking about that. Of course, she talks about the whole Kathy Hilton situation. She says that she will not apologize for any of that. That She doesn't regret bringing it all. And I'm thinking like, damn, like you are just going to die on that hill saying that Kathy Hilton, not only that, I mean, what happened in Aspen, let's be honest, it's like the least of the problems, you know? Okay, Kathy Hilton had a tempting tantrum, whatever. Like, they all, all of them have it. Like, I don't think that's even the problem. To me, it's more the fact that Lisa Reno literally called Kathy Hilton a racist and a homophobe, and, and she wanted to take down the family and the kids because she literally did it. You know, the text messages were there. They were leaked, you know? And she doesn't apologize for any of that. And she and, and she's saying like she's not gonna change that narrative. That part I'm saying, like, wow, do you you really want to die on that hill? You know, like that's I don't know. I think it's I think it's it's pretty weird that, that she will do something like that. Just like apologize or something, but no. And last but no least, she goes on and literally she says that if she wouldn't have sent tell the her truth then the show will be the same thing as Potomac. Why is she shady Potomac? I'm so sorry, but Potomac is one of the number one hit shows on Bravo right now, okay? And everyone loves Potomac. So why is Lisa Rena taking shots at Potomac? She did it with Dubai before, and now she's going out at, at Potomac? I mean, or is she talking about Robin, not talking about Juan? But anyways, still it's part of like the whole show. It's still the truth is out there. You know what I mean? Like I, Lisa Rena, she cannot, she cannot stop doing these cheap shots constantly. Like I mean, even if her life will depend on it, she cannot stop doing that. So, anyways, that's what is going on with Lisa Rena right now. So let me know what you think on the comments below, and if you want to get all the tea from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills of any other franchise or Bravo show or pop culture, make sure to subscribe right now to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever.